Okay, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking more in depth about map collisions. Uh, so make sure you have poor map open to make sure you have your project open. Um, we are going to go over the meta tiles in a bit more depth. Okay, so we're going to start with um, the difference between the two columns. So for the white and the red tiles, white just means passable, red means impassable. The difference in the numbers is elevation. Two is, or three is like the normal level. It's the it's the ground floor. You can only um, you can only surf off of three. You can only land from surfing off of three. Um, four is just higher than than three. Let's say you were building a mountain, you would have it on elevation four or five. You keep going up, etc. Um, this is a water tile. Um, if we go to Route 102 and we look, we will see there's water tiles. The red one, again, is just an impassable water tile. Um, this one right here is a bit of a special one, though. This is the tile that lets us transition in between two elevations. Because normally we wouldn't be able to, but this tile lets that happen. If we were to, let's say, go to Little Root, and we were going to build a little, a little rock here. Right now, this is all three. We could walk over the entire thing. So we're obviously going to want to put X's on these parts in the front and the side so we can't walk here. But we don't want to put X's here because then we won't be able to walk behind it. Other, and if we don't do that, then you can just walk straight over it. So that's why we use a different elevation. We paint all of this with four. Now you cannot cross from four into three. But you also can't cross from three into four. So we use these transition tiles. The transition tiles let you transition between elevations. That's their entire purpose. Um, you can walk on them, like if I just dropped them here, it wouldn't really change anything, but you don't necessarily want to be just putting them in random places. I forgot one here. But now we can transition onto this, but we can't walk off the top, and we can still walk here. Um, we can look at a couple routes where this is done uh, to see how Game Freak did it. Um, if we look at this route, we see there's a bunch of different elevation changes. And if we look at the collisions on them, see this one goes three into five. And it's because if you didn't right here, you'd be able to just step off. But because of the elevation change, that does not happen. This one's all just the same elevation because it doesn't matter. They blocked it off 100%. So you can't step off, so they didn't really have to worry about it. Um, see they didn't do it here because they knew that down here you have to be on three to surf so they just blocked it off so you don't have to worry about it and uh, right here I'm not really sure why they did this but uh, it's not really necessary um, but anyway uh, we can also look at route 110 for the next big topic and that is walkways so on this route and also on uh, other maps like Victory Road, there are areas where you can go across it one direction and in a different direction. So these tiles right here, the last tiles we haven't talked about, are very important. They allow us to, what they, what they basically do is if you're coming from three and you land on this tile, the game remembers, okay, we were on three. So then it pretends like we were on three, so we can't go into four, we can't go into four because it thinks we're on three, but we can go into three because it thinks we're on three. But if you're coming this way, it remembers this four and goes, okay, well, we're on four now. We're on four, we're on four, we're on four, 
we can't go to three because we're on four, but we can cross into four. And the same thing is true uh, for these water tiles, but um, I don't think they're really all that. Well, yes, so they are necessary because you have to be able to go under them and go across them here. Uh, so it's the same thing on the water tiles as well. Um, there's more examples of this if we go into dungeons, and these are more practical examples because you might not necessarily be making large bike paths everywhere, but if we are going to go to Victory Road, we can see how it's implemented here with these bridges. You want to, you have to be able to go over them and under them, so we use an elevation change and then we have the actual change in elevation and then we have these movement tiles that let us go in any direction from any from multiple different sources and then we have back our elevation change and it's the same thing here elevation change the special tiles and then back down to three so let's go back to little root And there isn't anything, we don't have any bridges in our, uh, in, in this general uh, tile set, so we can't add any bridges onto Little Root. Um, so we are just going to save everything, and we're going to compile our game. Make sure to go into your uh, directory if you have not run nproc, just to make sure. It's probably still 12 if you hadn't edited anything. Um, but just run it just to be safe because um, it's possible it could output a different number but we are going to wait for this to load we are going to open MGBA and hopefully this will be done in a second I think I covered all the tiles. Um, if you want to learn about them more, um, you can go to the PoriMap documentation, and there will be there will be more uh, information about them there that you can access. It looks like we are done, so we are going to open our ROM. Raining. And here we go. We can't walk off the top of this, but we can go down. We can't walk to the side. We can't walk this way because it's a different elevation once you're up here. We're on four instead of three. But because of the transition tiles on the stairways, and you don't actually have to use the stairways, you can use any tile, but obviously, if you're just transitioning between elevations, it's going to look bad if you just use the wall. Um, but yeah so that is uh that's map collisions uh, if you have any questions about it uh, be sure to let us know make sure to like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next one